Uh, so hi, my name is Maciej Andzinski. I'm from CZ Nick Labs, and uh, I would like to tell you about the uh, analysis that we do in order to find uh, best locations for .CZ DNS servers. Uh, so basically, there are currently 13 locations of .CZ DNS servers. Uh, some time ago, a new server in Singapore was added, and uh, this year, we deployed a new server in uh, South Africa. So we currently have uh, servers on five continents, and we constantly add uh, new servers. And we still fa face the question, what is actually the best locations for the servers? And uh, of course, there are uh, many aspects of uh, a good location. And uh, in this analysis, we only focused on the latency. So the goal here was to find such location for .cz DNS servers that could uh, benefit the overall reachability of, of the servers. Uh, oh, sorry. And actually, the first challenge here was to measure the latency, because uh, DNS uses UDP protocol, so it's stateless and it can tell us nothing about the latency. Uh, and a typical approach is to use active measurements, like to ping something or to use intermittent measurement systems such as RIPE Atlas. Uh, such system can deliver some data about latency from various networks. Uh, but in uh, 2019, we came up with a different concept. As I said, DNS uses UDP, uh, but there is also some fraction of uh, TCP traffic. It's below 1% of, of the queries, but um, still it's a considerable number. So with just 1% of TCP traffic, we can get like 20 or 50 TCP connections per second. And uh, the idea here was to use the RTT of TCP handshake to evaluate the latency between a client and a server, because that's what we can see on the, on the server side. Uh, so, here are some numbers about the traffic from one of the clients. Uh, we observed queries from this client on, uh, one on, on five of our servers, and we can see that we are able to capture some uh, TCP sessions, and we also were able to compute uh, the median RTT value for the TCP handshake. So we can see that for uh, servers in Czech Republic, the RTT was around 12 milliseconds, and the uh, traffic from this client to London uh, resulted in RTT around uh, 40 milliseconds. So having such data about the latency to each uh, server, we are able to do some more general evaluations, such as uh, evaluate RTT for uh, IP address, network, or, or country. Basically, uh, this is a weighted mean, and the number of queries is, is the weight here in this, in this mean. So the more queries is observed on uh, a particular server, the more important RTT is. Uh, so we did so, such evaluation for countries and networks, and this map shows the RTT by country, uh, we can see green color in uh, Central Europe and in uh, Scandinavia and in Czech Republic, of course. That means that we have very good RTT there. And uh, these countries are at the same time the biggest source of, of DNS queries. Uh, as I said, we did such analysis uh, several times. Mm, there are several studies since 2019. Uh, this method was first present uh, during the IT19 conference and also within the center community. Uh, we also did some more analysis uh, and published it as an Adam report. And one of our colleagues, uh, Wukasz Wacek, 
also wrote uh, a master thesis in this topic. So we had uh, much results, much analysis, and we decided that we lack a simple tool that could give us simple results. Uh, so the idea was to develop a tool that could take some data as an input, and as an output, it would produce simply a list of locations suitable for, for our servers. So the idea was to combine two data sets, RTT data for networks, which we already have, and some information about the internet structure, which we can find in uh, peering DB data. So when we combine these two data sets, we believe we can get a list of nodes suitable for, for installing our servers. And in order to select uh, best locations, we introduced a measure which we called RTT Impact Score. Uh, this is basically a product of the QPS, like qu query per seconds of a source, and the difference between uh, the source RTT and the RTT of overall uh, .cz ecosystem. So uh, it can be seen that if this measure is above zero, then a source may make the overall RTT worse, and if it's below zero, then the source uh, makes the overall .cz RTT better. Here is an uh, example. Uh, on the bottom of this uh, picture, we can see big uh, green bar, which is uh, Czech Republic. Uh, it means that the RTT impact score in Czech Republic is uh, way below zero. It's very low, which is good, because that means that the traffic from Czech Republic uh, has a positive influence on, on the traffic. It, may, it makes the RTT for .cz uh, better. And on the, on the top of the chart, we see red bars, and these are the sources with uh, RTT impact score above zero. Uh, we can see here such countries like uh, China or India, also uh, US. So these locations, um, traffic from these locations has, uh, the, uh, the RTT observed for, for these locations is, is below average. And at the same time, we observe many, many queries from these locations. Uh, so once we have the RTT impact score computed for networks, uh, we combine it with the peering DB data. So we are able to um, select locations where networks with uh, RTT impact score above zero uh, where, where they peer. So this is basically kind of voting and uh, each networks each network votes for the nodes where it peers, and the number of votes equals to the RTT impact score computed for that network. And uh, at the end, we do some uh, filtering. We drop countries, uh, we drop uh, internet exchange nodes we, in countries with uh, RTT impact score below zero, and we also drop nodes uh, where we actually, where we are already present. So as I said, we want to, to, to have something very simple, and uh, this is the result of, of our tool. Uh, basically, this is a table which shows the top recommended locations for our servers. Uh, we can see here uh, some nodes in the United States, also India, Japan, Hong Kong, uh, this table was generated last week, uh, but if I did it uh, two months ago, there would be also um, a node in uh, South Africa, but we deployed a new server there, so this location is not among the su suggested locations anymore. Uh, our tool also provides some other feature for traffic flow analysis, uh, such as this uh, Sunkate diagram. Uh, it shows the 
traffic, IPv4 traffic flow from Brazil. Uh, in the middle, we can see IP addresses of our servers, and on the right side, there are physical locations of our servers. Mm, the size of a bar here uh, denotes the volume of the traffic, and the color uh, denotes RTT. So we can see that uh, much traffic from Brazil goes to the server which is in, in Brazil. Uh, also, some part of the traffic goes to the server in Chile, and here we can see yellow color, which means uh, it's, it's not that bad, but also it, it could be better. And also, a small fraction of the traffic goes to servers in, in Prague or in uh, London, and here we can see orange, orange and red color, which means that it's not that good. Uh, so, such features also helps us to uh, inspect the traffic, and uh, that helps to, to select good location for a server. Uh, so, just to conclude, uh, I mm, presented the result of analysis, which only focuses on uh, one aspect, which is the latency. Uh, and our method uh, helps to identify sources with, uh, which has big impact on the RTT. Like, mm, it's not only about the, like the, we, we take into consideration two factors, the RTT and the number of queries per second. So if we combine it, then we can uh, evaluate the, the total impact on the overall RTT. And uh, we also believe that our method can be quite powerful when we combine the RTT data with, with peering DB. So we will see uh, if it works. Uh, mm, we pass the, all the data to the team that is responsible for deploying new servers, so we hope they, they, they make use of it. Uh, so that's it. Thank you for your attention. If you have questions, I can answer. Does it take into account whether AS is present on IX's road servers or not? Road servers. I not, I'm not sure if I understand the question. Uh, if it depends, <laughs> if uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, basically we we take what we find in the peering DB. If there are uh, there is this uh, ix object and nodes objects and net objects, so we combine uh, mm, what we find there. Uh, so if uh, a network is listed as a peer in in peering DB in a particular node, then we consider it, it to be present in that node. So. We don't do any more in-depth analysis like uh, related to some uh, specific configuration of BGP, et cetera, just mm -hmm. simple peering the bad data. Okay. Tomáš ale CZNIC. Sorry for disturbing. I just wanted to say <coughs> I'm responsible in CZNIC for running the infrastructure. So I just want to thank you for your work and, and, and the results of the analysis because it's really valuable for us. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.